Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again and today I've been thinking to share with you my own personal opinion about the best rank season ships and I'm talking about of course the ranked battle. We have the tier 6 and tier 7. Of course if you do not own a tier 7 uh, ship uh, take what tier 6 fits your playstyle. What can I say? If you're new to this game, it's, you know, rough. Not all people, you know, own a tier 7 ships if they are very new in the game. Um, but for, for, for you guys who probably have lots of ships, so this is my... I will go very simple. I will choose two of each category and then on the third one I will let you decide which you know fits your glove I only put two because I really feel that those two are ahead I repeat ahead every other class can outclass in some parts I'm just saying that so I'll go straight to the battleship one of the strongest tier 7 battleship and which has a crazy few weakness you know the AA it's not a, a issue it has pretty damn decent AA I mean yes you can be strike but it's a tier 6 carrier it's not a tier 8 I do honestly believe the tier 7 battleship have much upper better upper hand versus tier 6 in AA power and of course at the same time in big caliber guns armor you name it so it's no brainer i will pick the synop one of the strongest tier 7 regular touch tree going figure it's a soviet russian battleship the synop the tier 7 synop which build shall i go for the which build i do not have any perfect captain it's only 16 points uh, probably you will have a different but definitely a tankier build with a faster turret reverse speed it's not bad i also went out for aa markman with this one your priority target sector aa plus 25 percent which makes pretty damn safe versus tier 6 yes you will still eat a lot of torpedoes or uh, planes but the planes pay with you know you shred the planes yes i know it's a battleship uh, probably don't think so but it's true and this is uh, adrenaline rush concealment yes you can go for the tank build once again this is only 16 points captain it's not a, a perfect captain for the second one if you want to brawl in and i do believe in this uh, game you will brawl um Shanhorst gnites now it's probably one of the toughest and the strongest battleship at tier 7 so i'll put both of them tier you know I high, highly recommend, I very much would like to see those two ships in my team. I'm talking about Scharnhorst Gneiss now or um, uh, Sinop. Both of the cases I very much like to say at the same time they are pretty damn strong in AA. Not the strongest because the number one strongest is the US tier 7 premium battleship. Uh, what do you call it? Flat oh, man. I uh, sorry. No, it's the, with F. Um, yeah, you you know uh, which one I think, right? So, on the other hand, I do honestly believe I do have one uh, ship. If you are afraid of you know someone to strike you all over the, uh, I'm talking about if you uh, want to have a decent AA platform, you can also go for Lyon. Ah, uh, sign. Man, where is my Leon captain? Over there is. There. Oh, I did not even build it. But without even captains, uh, guys, I very much like to say the A it's seventy seven. If I will put the seventeen points captain build anything by A, I probably will have the second best A eight platform. So it's not bad pick. It's not a good brawler, but it's definitely not bad pick especially if you want to be kind of a safe for the in a yes you will still be a uh, strike and you don't have a lot of hp pool and you don't have very good armor on the other hand you will take all the damn planes if you have some kind of aa build so yeah definitely not bad pick 
you have small caliber gun but shit loads of them and probably it's a very effective to take out any cruiser whatsoever but remember guys this is one of the strongest uh, cruiser killer verb at the same time all battleships are you know what i mean so no brainer i will go for the two top cruiser and of course this is absolutely broken it's the strongest tier 7 cruiser in this game with stupid good concealment yes squishy no heal and no torpedo on the other hand it's the perfect uh, destroyer um, backup or sh should i say support ship belfast it's number one uh, pick in this season i have very hard to see any other cruiser who can beat this it's it's impossible to outspot only the destroyer outspot her and uh, she has the whole pack radar smoke he spamming with ifhe like i have 18 points captain it's bert dunker this is my build um highly recommend you have this um, uh, what do you call it consumable um, the recommended skills i went also for priority target and expert aa with this combination i'm not saying that you're safe but also i went with ifhe which you will pen most battleships not all of them but most of them and concealment and yeah this is my pick for my 18 points captain and the second one it's actually fiji now here's the deal guys if you think that this is a bad ship it's not uh, matter of fact a fiji together with another fiji or another belfast it's absolutely a powerhouse and very hard to deal with no matter if you are a battleship no matter if you are an uh, aircraft carrier or a destroyer because the truth is here's a guys you do not want to gunfight a fiji if you're a destroyer that's the last thing you want to do because um you you will receive massive of a damage and you might die in just a second so yeah on the third one there is quite a lot of other uh, ships i don't i don't consider them any bad tier six or tier seven they are quite a few uh, very strong oh yeah i kind of forgot i i don't i don't believe that this case i very much like to do a um, third uh, ship as well which i consider her underrated but it could be very strong uh, what's a strange special about this Italian is of course a sap which can do massive uh, damage but the main selling point of this is definitely the crazy strong hydro let me see equipment yes the equipment not the exterior come on Zera yes this thing has absolutely six kilometer detection uh, um, uh, of the ship hydro and four kilometers torpedoes and you have spotter plane and you have smoke and of course you do have the sap and ap so it could be a pretty damn good combination with, together with the let's say belfast uh, fiji but it's a different play style don't get don't get me wrong you know i only have six point captain but i do have other captain which i uh, can increase uh, I do believe uh, 18 points at, at least so it's a premium ship so I actually would put her on the third spot and uh, there are quite few good dis uh, destroyers but also <laughs> cruisers um, I'll put those three because I, f I feel that they are very strong and stupid strong in, in right hands um, of course in this ship you're not a brawler you have to keep that in mind you're very squishy and very long easy there are quite significant tier sevens cruisers and no premium and a, a, a regular touch tree you could you know have a good time or if the several battleship aim at you you'll blow up very fast but at the same time fiji and belfast it's special that they have stupid good concealment and uh, good turning rate they can turn on a dime and so on for the destroy it's a little bit of a mixed bag i would very much like to say not the minsk but leningrad leningrad it's absolutely a must-have a top three choice this is um, uh, what do you call it 
uh, Minsk, but I'm not talking about Minsk, I'm talking about Leningrad. But at the same time, one of the strongest tier 7 uh, destroyer in torpedo power, it's definitely Sh Shiratsuyu. If there's a lot of battleship, probably this is, will be a very strong torpedo boat. Uh, remember, you do have the... If you don't run smoke, you have this uh, torpedo uh, reload uh, faster. You can actually spam 16 torpedo and then, of course, you will one-shot kill a battleship. Full HP battleship to zero if you land a couple torpedoes. Um, but uh, number one pick, what shall I go for? It's actually, this This uh, is a Pain Asia destroyer and the name of this destroyer is, of course, the Gajamada. I'll put the Gajamada together with the Leningrad and Haida, the top three choice. I repeat, Gajamada, Haida and um, uh, Leningrad, all very strong. What's special about this ship is that, yes, it has crazy long reload of the torpedo, but the torpedo deep water, you cannot torpedo uh, another destroyer, but truth is, what's special, yeah, 61 knots, I think something wow, 15,800 damage, and you have 10 of them. But if the torpedo will not land, definitely your firepower you have a lot of firepower for this tier so you can very much trade uh, 17 points captain do i have specced him no i did not spec him but with this one i highly recommend you to put the uh, um, survival uh, 300 or 450 uh, points per tier so you can you know trying to outguard other uh, destroyer remember that this thing has crazy good concealment it's almost so good it's almost broken in that regard it can outspot everyone i do believe if you go for a concealment expert your concealment is down to whopping i don't know 5.5 uh, 5 or 5.6 something that ridiculous and you know you don't want to find it. if you're a japanese destroyer you don't want to gunfight this thing uh, at the same time uh, the weakness is the deep wet torps but you if you land if you land you uh, will do tons and tons of damage because you have too much torpedoes at this tier there are very few torpedoes um, with 10 torpedoes i don't think it's not, not even the, the damn fubuki and many other that only have uh, uh, nine torpedoes of course, the sh uh, Shiratsuyu with Torpedo Booster, it has 16. So there you have it, guys. For the aircraft carrier, it's up to your uh, playstyle. However, however, even though if you can kill the most of the destroyer pretty damn easy, you're not gonna kill the uh, uh, your tier 6 carrier versus tier 7 battleship. They are a very strong uh, AA platform for the battleship and yes in some regard also for uh, the cruisers. Gunboard wise also Bliskavica it's very strong um, it has a lot of firepower sure to torpedo are kind of lacking but a good captain can definitely and that it's uh, the biggest problem with Bliskavica it has bad concealment versus let's say Gajamada you know so it has much harder time to uh, deal with uh, some destroy when your concealment it's it's not bad but it's actually much worse than some of them and but something else i kind of forgot to mention t61 even though it's a tier 6 uh, destroyer i believe it's in the right hand is it's as strong if not the, one of the strongest it is the strongest tier 6 uh, destroyer and um, yes even though it's only tier 6 very much would like to see in my team because the strength about this ship is definitely the torpedo and hydro those two combination crazy fast torpedo reload your black battleship cruisers left and right and all you need to do is to make sure of your eight torpedoes land at least two cause flooding and then use your smoke and uh, you know he spamming and you know um, burn them for a good while and at the same time you're pretty damn strong versus other 
tier 6 destroy but here's the, the problem the problem is that you don't have a lot of HP pool I'm talking about um, 40,700 it's not bad but versus Gajamada and some other pure gunboat like Leningrad you will probably not be the best destroyer but you're a crazy good torpedo boat yes you are so yeah I still believe it's a very strong not the strongest versus tier 7 but I will compare you know apple versus uh, uh, tomatoes for crying out loud so it's not fair comparing uh, tier 6 versus tier 7 but once again if you do not uh, own any particular tier 7 go whatever you have have fun and trying to do your very best my advice was with you with what I felt the strongest ships uh, of all tier sevens you know what i mean let me know in the comment below which one would you go for and why um i am a destroyer main so i probably will go for uh, the destroyer but also shan horse and of course uh, belfast are crazy strong and they will be popular trust me the brawler battleship will be extremely popular but maybe i'm just saying in some region also the carrier will be popular so i have no idea exactly what's going on so guys, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comment below which ship you'll go for in this rank season. Take care and catch you in the next one. Bye.